Hello there, everyone. Welcome to Doug's Fall Blog. I'm not sure what edition this is, but I think we're up to a half a dozen or so. Today, we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly COVID-19. Well, I think the best news this week was Donald Trump catching the virus, but does he really have the virus? Fake news, I think. Anyways, wait and see. Um, you know what? The good, the good things that have come about through COVID are are probably stronger than the bad things in my opinion. I think there's been a ton of opportunity. I think uh, the world has changed dramatically and I don't think anybody realizes just how much, or not everybody realizes just how much has changed. But on a, on a, on a very small aspect of uh, the changes, I, I see things like masks in hospitals forever, uh, plexiglass in your grocery stores and your corner stores, you know, forever. Um, Will we ever go to a nursing home again without a mask on? Probably not. Um, you know, company overheads have changed dramatically. People have realized that probably a lot of waste in our system um, and our companies. And uh, there's a ton of, ma ton of money to be made in uh, watching your cost overheads. The weather is an interesting one. Has the weather changed? Um, as we sit here in October and the 70 degree days continue, um, with the amount or lack of emissions going into our ozone layer, has the weather changed? Um, the amount of emissions that have been decreased or emissions that have been increased over the last six months could take 10 or 20 years to accomplish, um, you know, pre-COVID. So that's pretty extraordinary. I think the dress has changed. I think really, really casual is the new business code. Um, you know, for a guy like me who wears my flashy shirts, they haven't seen a lot of action in the last four months, and uh, I don't know. I think people, the new casual, watch that one. Um, the digital bump that we've taken, you know, the world has changed, has forced to change through COVID-19. And again, I would say what made it might have taken 10 years is now accomplished in four or five, six months. Um, ordering online is just so easy, and uh, takeout has jumped, you know, through the roof. I mean, there's things that are just going to change. Habits will change, and... Uh, it's yeah, it's interesting times for for sure. Now the bad, um, COVID. You know what? You could turtle, or you can get up with two hands and come out of the gate running. And uh, we have chosen to come out of the gate running. We are looking at turning obstacles into opportunities. And there's a ton of opportunities out there right now. You know, for every bad story, there's three great ones. Um, you know. Uh, in some cases, there's going to be a lot of businesses closed. I think the worst is yet to come. And, uh, you know, that's that's the bad part. What's going to come now when all the government money comes to a stop and we get into quarter one of, tw of uh, 2021? I think you're going to see a lot of distressed businesses. And I think you're going to see uh, the hospitality business continue to take a nosedive. Um, you know, viruses are here to stay. Um, unfortunately, you know, whether or not we find a vaccine... I think the likelihood is we'll find quick testing um, will be the secret to success. So I think in the next couple of months, we'll see some super duper quick tests. You know, you take a swab or you lick a, uh, uh, you lick a, a piece of paper and it tells you within 15 minutes that you have, uh, you have COVID or don't have COVID. That will be a big, big step, um, you know, but at the end of the day, we're, they're here to stay. Um, the recession, has it started? Is it going to start? Are we going to go into a global recession? Um, you know, somebody asked me recently, what's, you know, what has been the biggest hurdle through COVID? And for me, it's been what we don't know. What's ahead of us that we don't know. Everything that we've hit in the last six months, we've been able to deal with and we've been able to manage. And our team has done an extraordinary job of pivoting. Nobody wants to hear that word anymore, but, you know, that's what we did. And, uh, uh, you know, but it's what we don't know uh, coming ahead of us is that's a little bit scary. So we'll have to wait and see, and uh, we just don't know what we don't know, and uh, we'll cross our fingers that uh, Donald Trump will not win the election, and I, I shouldn't even say that because I don't even know if Joe Biden's a good candidate, but if that's the best you got, America, I don't know, that's pretty sad times. Anyway, not going to get political. Just remember, those who do good things have good things happen to them, so go out and do some good things today. Take care, guys, and hope you enjoyed the blog.